When we arrived in San Diego, we felt like coming home. Not because we spent so much time there before, but because we had an intense time there. Made a lot of friends and above all, we've been here before. The last years, we always traveled from port to port. Okay, sometimes we stayed longer like we did in Hawaii, but it was still traveling. Since I bought Zero in 2013, our lives changed completely. And coming back to the place where this change had its origin is a special moment. We met friends, had lunch or dinner in places we visited before, and enjoyed to drive around a town where we actually know where things are. Simple things like the next Ralph's, Target, the cheapest Italian restaurant, and so on. And coming back to the West Marine store, where I spent so much time when we started outfitting Zero for the cruise to Mexico, and getting the heartly welcome from the employees like Ron, who hugged me and gave me a warm feeling, this is a feeling like coming home after a long journey. But as all of you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Zero needs work, a lot of work. During the last months, or better said, since I left the warm climate in Hawaii, I postponed everything what doesn't need to be fixed immediately. To do it here, here in San Diego. So my list is long and includes many projects from little cosmetic work to extensive structural repairs. The first task was to replace the cockpit seating. I did that before but didn't like it and decided to make it bigger this time. Bigger means more space to sit and sleep there once I'm back in the tropics. So the time changes again and now it's time for work. Okie doke, we made it to the boat, but now I have to go from there over here. And that's how it will look like. I extended it a couple of inches so it's a little more comfy to chill there and even sleep there. 31 inches at the biggest part. I forgot the sanding department. Probably that will be me. little varnish and some paint and everything looks perfect for me.
Holy moly, completely ruined my whole work. So the weather, weather forecast yesterday said it starts raining this morning at around 9 a.m. But it started raining yesterday night at 11 p.m. Not much, but a little. And the epoxy wasn't really cured. So it ruined my whole work. It's, for God's sake, it's cured. But it looks so shitty, I have to sand it completely and do it again. Working time. So we put everything out of our bedroom. And I drilled a couple holes into the board underneath to get some ventilation. We have a new mattress. We want to put a, one of these mesh um, sinks underneath and rebuild the whole bed. So sanding and painting back on track. And it looks really very nice here. Welcome to the chaos room. All this stuff is underneath our bed. Usually. That's where we sleep at the moment. In the salon while we are working on our bedroom. So now I'm going to sand it. I drilled a couple of holes in there every four inch to get a better ventilation for the mattress. And now I'm going to sand it and we paint it. Everything looks nice and tidy. Tomorrow, maybe. Taped our closet. But I'm using um, the vacuum, so I hope it's not too much dust coming up. And, and it's not fiberglass, it's just... So everything is sanded and cleaned. It's ready for paint. Another project was to replace the mattress in the state room. It wasn't good from the beginning, but after all the moisture in Alaska, it was definitely time to get a new one. We bought a barely used regular king size mattress and customized it ourselves. That saved us a lot of money and actually wasn't much work at all. To improve the whole situation, I drilled a bunch of holes into the board underneath the mattress and placed a layer of hypervent between mattress and base to increase ventilation. And once the cabin was empty and dirty anyway, we sanded and painted the whole cabin. So we are replacing our uh, mattress for the, our bed today. We got a fairly new guest bed mattress on Craigslist for small money. It's just used a couple of times. It looks pretty good. And it's the old one, our old mattress used to be four inch. Now we have a six inch uh, memory foam mattress. It's actually a kind of different layers together with heat and air, whatever, exhaust stuff. Six going on. Um, the cutting was very easy. We just took a, our um, fish leading knife and cut it. So, yeah, it looks good. Cuts very good. You're stitching our mattress? How's it going? Quite okay. It's not fancy, but there's a cover coming on top of it. 
I just try to attach it that it's not too much loose fabric here and then we take the cover and that we try to make more. So that's a nice thing. The whole project only cost us around $200, with the hypervent being the biggest part of it, but made a huge change in comfort. What a difference. What's next on SY0? We had a huge storm coming to San Diego Bay, with strong winds and plenty of rain. And of course, there's more work coming. Aloha.